What is going on guys, Chris here, or Mighty Furtado, and today I'm bringing you guys a guide on how to play Vala. So Vala is one of my main heroes that I play on Heroes of the Storm, and today I want to make a video for you guys to show you that the build that I choose on her. So, where we are right now is by basically in the practice area. Uh, you can actually do this by going to the shop in Heroes of the Storm, and then clicking on a hero, and then clicking the try button, and this will bring, a, bring you into this somewhat little arena. Alright, so anyways, let's go into the talent builds. So, uh, the first level, the once you start off the game, is you'll get five options here. So, I'm not going to explain them all because there are other guides out there explaining on all the uh, skills or traits that there are, but I will explain to you guys why I choose the skill that I'm choosing right now. So the one that I choose right now is Rancor. Hatred increases attack speed. So basically hatred is your passive, which is right here. Basic attacks grant a stack of hatred up to 10. Each hatred stack increases a, uh, increases basic attack damage by 2% and movement speed by 1%. So basically if you attack a creep up to 10 times, you'll get uh, 10 hatred stacks. So your attack speed will go up by, so you do 1.5 times 10. Um, and the math is really bad, so I believe that's a 15% uh, increase so your attack speed increases by 15% uh, which is actually really good you might not think that's a lot but in the game it makes somewhat of a big difference so we're gonna go with the attack speed why I don't go with the other ones um, they're just really not that good uh, increases range of multi shot which isn't really that good you don't really use multi shot that much unless it's to clear out uh, creep waves uh, hungering arrow uh, returning Damage as health is not really that good, and then reduces the cost of Hungering Arrow by 30 mana. It's only a 30 mana difference, which is not that good. So we're going to go with attack speed. And the next one we go with, there's our, there are two options that I choose here. Uh, the first one is Vampiric Assault, which basically gives you lifesteal uh, per attack, or Manticore. Now the one that I always choose, depending if we're winning or not, is obviously Manticore because it does more damage to the same target. Uh, so every third basic attack against the same target deals 50% additional damage, which is actually totally worth it. Um, if I were to choose Vampiric Assault, it would be either if I'm behind, if the, our team is behind in game, or if I if I see that I need the life steal, which sometimes I don't. Usually, uh, if you don't have a healer. On your team, so like Malfurion or Uther or Tyrand, I would go for Vampiric Assault. But if you have one of those champions or heroes in the game with you, then you don't really need the skill. So you obviously go with Manticore. Uh, Puncturing Arrow, you don't really need. Obviously, increases targets and range. So uh, Hungering Arrow goes up to two additional enemies. This would obviously bounce it up to three. And then Multi Shot or Arsenal, um, Multi Shot launches grenades with arrows. Doesn't really mean anything you don't really need it so the next one I go for is searing attacks activate the increase basic attack damage at the cost of mana so once you click on it it actually goes to one as you guys will see there but I'm actually gonna go back and explain it to you guys uh, activate to increase basic attack damage by 50% for five seconds each attack costs 15 mana so the reason I choose this is obviously the more damage so for five, for five seconds, you're able to do 50% more damage depending, or 50% more damage for five seconds uh, at a cost of 15 mana each. So let's say if you were to get your full stacks on your hatred, so your attack speed would be up uh, 15%. So that means you would be able to do more than more auto attacks with this buff, which is actually totally worth it. Uh, before, I would actually choose battle momentum, which actually really helped a lot for your alt and your uh, other abilities. Uh, basic attacks reduce ability cooldowns by 0 0.5 seconds for every auto attack you do. Uh, basically, your cooldown of your alt, it's at 60, I believe. Uh, so it would basically take you 30 seconds to actually get it back up, depending if there are a lot of creeps to actually take out. So every auto attack you do brings the cooldown reduction of your skill by 0 0.5 seconds. Alright, so next one, <clears throat> uh, I'm going to choose, I always choose Strafe. Uh, strafe is the main uh, ultimate that you do want to get. 
Uh, rapidly attack n uh, nearly visible enemies for 150 damage per hit. Prioritizing heroes over minions. Val is able to move and use her ult while strafing last 4 seconds. This is obviously the ultimate that you do want to choose. Now, Reign of Vengeance is an ult that you do want to choose on occasion. Now, the reason I would choose Reign of Vengeance uh, over strafe at times is when you're behind. Now, the reason I say this is because there could be games, you know, you can't win every game in Heroes of the Storm, but there could be games where you are behind. And Reign of Vengeance does kind of help you come back into the game. And if you see my videos playing as Valor, there, are, there were a couple times that my team was behind and I was able to actually come back getting Reign of Vengeance. Now, uh, the way to use Reign of Vengeance is when the enemy team is all grouped up. When the enemy team is all grouped up, you want to use Reign of Vengeance. Basically, it launches two waves of Shadow Beasts that deal 560 damage to enemies within the target area, stunning them for 0.5 seconds per wave. So basically, it would stun them for one second because you're able to launch two waves. But at level 20, I'll go back to why I choose this. But for now, we're going to choose Strafe. Now, the next one that I do, there are two options here that you can choose. Uh, the first one I choose is Spell Shield. Reduces incoming ability damage. Upon taking ability damage, reduce all ability damage taken by 50% for 2 seconds. Can only trigger once every 30 seconds. So basically this is like a little aura that you have. Consider it a Banshee's Veil in League of Legends, even though it doesn't really stop an enemy's spell. So uh, if you were to get hit, uh, it will come back up every 30 seconds. And once, let's say if an enemy were to hit you, you get the damage taken reduced by 50% for 2 seconds. So the period would only last 2 seconds, but you're able to get this uh, back every 30 seconds. Now, I would either choose this choose this, or I would choose Hot Pursuit. So basically, uh, when you get 10 hatred or ten stacks of hatred, the movement speed bonus is increased to 20% total. So instead of it being 10%, uh, it would go to 20%. Now obviously, I would have, ch I, when I first started playing the game, I chose Hot, hot Pursuit. But obviously you do want spell shield because you are a ranged assassin and you basically in every team fight you are the one that's targeted the most. Uh, obviously these other skills aren't really that useful. The frost shot's pretty bullshit and the giant killer, I wouldn't really choose it. So the next one here is even sometimes I have trouble choosing. Um, I usually go for stone skin because like I said you are a ranged assassin and basically in every team fight you are... Uh, the most targeted champion in the game, especially for Vala, because everybody just drops every alt on you trying to kill you. So, um, you want to get Stone Skin. Stone Skin gives you a 30% shield of your maximum HP for 5 seconds, which is really good in team fights. Um, you know, other ones you could probably choose would be Tumble. Obviously, it gives you two additional charges, which is great for escapes from team fights if you're really low. I wouldn't choose Executioner unless you have a team with a lot of hard CC. For example, Gazlo has, uh, not, sorry, not Gazlo, uh, Uther has a shit ton of CC. Um, I really don't know any other champions that would work well with that. Uh, Blood for Blood, activate to slow and steal health from target. I wouldn't choose that. I've never chosen it, so I don't think it's that good. I don't think anybody that I know who's played Vela has chosen it. But I would either go for Stone Skin, which really helps you a lot for giving you that 30% of your max health shield, or uh, Tumble, which increases your Vault Charges by 2, which is great for escaping. So the next one here, obviously, is Vengeance. So if you do get the level 10 Strafe, you do want to get Vengeance, which basically fires penetrating bolts. Strafe also fires penetrating bolts in the line for 75 damage every 0.25 seconds. So the alt itself lasts for 4 seconds. So basically it's the exact same thing. Basically you're firing penetrating bolts which do an additional 20 or 75 damage over 0.25 seconds. Now if you were to get the other alt you would obviously want to get Storm of Vengeance which increases the number of Shadow Beast waves to 4 seconds. So this would, I believe I'm actually go back to this. Um, yeah, the total shots that your Shadow Beast, or the total shots that you do now is four, and the total amount of stun uh, that you can have, or the total, uh, sorry, I'm like lost for words here. 
your stun would last a total of two seconds if uh, the enemies were to stay in that area. They do have a, a short second, or a couple seconds to actually move, milliseconds actually, but um, you know, obviously you go with the Storm of Vengeance. Uh, Fury of the Storm, you don't really need it, basic attacks chain to enemies, and then Bolt of the Storm, which is basically a teleporting uh, ability. Uh, I wouldn't get it either because if you were to get the vault, obviously you would want to you have the two charges of vault Which is in my opinion better than bolt of the storm But obviously if you do get strafe as your first ultimate obviously you want to get vengeance to increase the damage So basically that's my build I can kind of show you guys a little example of how it works Obviously though even though I am playing against uh, bots so I'll kind of show you guys the abilities that Kind of work here as you can see we got an arthas who's level 10 and uh, this is the damage i'd be doing obviously i don't know if he has the correct skills obviously i can't tell so kind of show you guys a little bit how it works and the attack speed with the hatred as you can see here my hatred is at nine and then this little bit goes down so as you can see right here my hatred my attack speed is going pretty high and then uh once we get another wave here i'll kind of show you guys the Searing attacks and then also the stone skin. So let's uh, go for let's actually get 10 hatred first And then I'll show you guys the difference that it makes like right now attacking 438 438 you see that does a lot of damage and uh, It only lasts for five seconds. So you're able to get around two to three uh, shots with searing attack that has the increased damage and then uh, We'll also pop my ultimate in the next time uh, the next enemy wave comes. I also want to keep my stacks up to uh, 10 here and then it'll try to pop them now 438 438 so we can do it About three times three to four times So in my opinion, this is probably one of the best Vala builds in the game. I'm not too sure if there's are there are any other ones uh, but this is what I've been using since I started playing Vala since I actually got an invite to Heroes of the Storm uh, Vala is probably one of the best assassin, ranged assassin champions in the game uh, I don't think anybody can really take her on and you know comparing her to other assassins such as Illidan, Tychus uh, I don't I think the only uh, the only person that counters her is Tychus because uh, with Tychus, he does have his alt, which he summons down a mech, so basically he gets two lives. But depending if you're a really good Vala player, you can uh, you can counter it depending on the damage that you do. So, you know, for example, if Tychus were to summon his mech down uh, and you're able to take it down quickly, then you can easily 1v1 him. But, you know, if you're already low from him doing damage to you, then you're basically, you already lost. So, that's pretty much it. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the Vala build tutorial. Um, later down the road I will be doing more tutorials for her, or other build guides for other champions. But uh, since Vala is my main and basically the only champion that I'm trying to practice with right now and trying to get better at her, I decided I'd make a guide for you guys on how to play her. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.